Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki, uh, doing Let's Play Every Man World at War Part 9, and uh, yeah, I I've given up, and I'm doing safe state abuse, sorry. Uh, but I will show a blooper reel showing all the, about 20 minutes of me failing. I uh, also found out you can shoot bazooka uh, shots, uh, if you're lucky. Uh, you can shoot the rockets and uh, it'll blow up the enemy itself right as it fires it. Kind of a neat trick, but uh, but basically uh, this part right here was just complete ugh. Um, and it's not so much the part of like the bazooka men or the riflemen, it's just one soldier in particular. It's the mortarman. He is extremely accurate. Uh, he has extremely good guide on on target of where you're headed, and like he's just extremely skilled at what he does. And uh, just be glad that when you play Sarge's Heroes, luckily that little guy is not in the game or he would kick your butt. Because, like I said, he he has whooped my butt big time. Uh, but I've figured out the map now. Uh, after, Like I said, after 20 minutes of fail, I... I've had to, I have to at least get past the infantry part. Um, but this is one long mission. Uh, even by army, army man standards, this is rather long. It's a fun mission though. But, uh, still kind of rough. Basically, the goal here is you're supposed to take out all the anti-tank teams. Uh, there are spawns uh, for in case you want to explore, uh, but this is a timed uh, scenario. Uh, the objective is you have to rush through this section to uh, capture radio, and you don't you can't use the radio yet until you've made sure you've killed every single mortarman. And that bugger right there was the one who killed me more times than all the other mortarmen. Uh, followed, followed up by uh, that mortarman on the second pit with the LMG. Uh, that guy right there killed me more times than all the other guys combined. Even in a Sarge's Heroes game, uh, that guy has proved more of a worthy adversary. Uh, whoever designed his AI, kudos. You definitely bang got got an accurate motorman off of him. And uh, I'm shooting a pole here. I got to adjust my shot. I'm that's gonna have to do a double roll. I was half tempted to bayonet charge it, but at so low health, uh, I couldn't. That, and I was afraid that he might mortar himself. But luckily there's a full med kit there. So, uh, now we're at the end of this nightmare. So I wonder what's next. Like I said, uh, the main goal here is a security radio. As, and uh, this one's a lot simpler than a team assault, uh, so a little kudos, you just touch the radio and you use it. And they actually offered it, let us uh, man a turret on a tank. So that, that's kind of cool, cool beans I suppose. Uh, but basically me being an idiot, not realizing that I was supposed to go into the man, the tank, charge forward, and uh, try to kill the infantry, which infantry in infinitely spawn until you get into the, into the truck. 
uh, you're expected to get into it, and I was too late. And there's so many there that they've stopped it. Mission failed. Uh, so I have to retry this again. And that's it. this is kind of what I meant by this is being a timed mission. Uh, luckily, uh, it only took me two save states on this one, but uh, I don't envy whoever owned the console for playing this game, just due to the uh, lethality of uh, the anti-vehicle anti weaponry. I don't envy them at all. Um, this time we're waiting up for him. And, uh, so you actually see him pull up. As you notice, he sports a 50 cal, and he sports a uh, sports a main gun. And. Uh, yeah. Luckily, a blue blue guy is driving the tank, so uh, you don't have to do anything from there. But hey, kudos to uh, 3DO here. They instead of uh, nations being side characters, they actually involve you in using the characters. So now, not only are you fighting with the blue, but you get to be in blue vehicles. So kudos. That actually puts some more in death, in deathness to the game. Anyway, now that we've uh, gotten rid of all the dang uh, tan infantry, we can now start taking. We start going into a massive tank battle. Luckily, since we have uh, three tanks on our side, plus my piloted tank, you'll see what I mean later. It, when it's supposed, it's supposed to have been three tanks, but it's four tanks. Uh, versus like about 15 tan tanks and and these actually do take a take a beating and it takes uh, three uh, your t it takes three tank shots to kill it uh, that's what the reason I was popping the other one so quick was because the other blue tanks were assisting. So, isn't it nice to actually have some firepower on your side rather than uh, just having some random dummy enemies just standing there like a knot on a log? Now, in Army Man 3D Assault, or I'm sorry, not 3D Assault, I mean uh, Army Man 3D, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, console Sarge's game, uh, you can actually command your allied units. Uh, you can give them commands like get in the vehicle, uh, blob up, uh, get into attack formation, attack certain targets. Uh, unfortunately, they took that out. It was a neat gameplay feature, though. Uh, and it would have worked wonders, considering all the NPCs that the system uses. Uh, for the World at War system, I mean. But, uh... Anyway, things go pretty smoothly. Tank isn't too hard to aim and shoot with. Just give it a little bit of English. Uh, to adjust for the hills and uh, you know the bombing of the tank. Uh, the only thing is they didn't do fully well graphics for uh, a destroyed tank. Some tanks you can make it's kind of fairly obvious that it's destroyed, but other ones it looks semi alive. Like that one right there, kind of looked halfway like it was alive. Anyway, we lost one of the tanks. So we're down to just us three, as you can see there. Uh, once again, now 
help and they'll assist you out as you're going along so it's not a big deal if one slips by kind of a bum rap though that this is the only game that so far has had and and the uh, 3D I mean 3D of actual competent AI or programmable AI after that it just kind of they just they're there to exist they follow you and that's it but uh we're nearing the end of this i think this is the last tank oh no i'm sorry this i got two more tanks It looks like my buddy there is going to block block the shot for me, but he'll take him out for me. And that's the end of uh, this, uh, this part. So, uh, King is signing out. Thank you.